Oh boy, I got some huge NVIDIA news today. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by the FlexiSpot E4 Classic. The FlexiSpot E4 is a high quality and durable standing desk that can go all the way from 24.4 to 50 inches, which is great for people of all sizes and allows you to get the health benefits of standing while working, which can be crucial these days if you work from home. Not only that, but the desk is virtually silent while it raises and you can set and save profiles with an easy to use controller that comes with the desk so you can quickly change to your favorite heights. Plus, you can even set reminders to stand up to ensure you aren't sitting too long at your desk, which is great for your health, especially when working from home for long hours. Additionally, the desk fits in great to all types of office environments with its high quality wood, which feels nice to use and sturdy enough to be accurate when using a mouse or writing. And it's capable of holding up to 220 pounds, which means you can put as many monitors, arms, or other equipment you need without the fear of it breaking, unlike other cheap desks. So if you want to stay in good health while working and you're looking for a very high quality standing desk, be sure to click the link in the description below. That's right guys, today I got a ton of information to go over when it comes to NVIDIA graphics cards that I think you guys are really gonna like. So let's not waste any time, let's go ahead and get right into it. First starting off, it looks like we're actually getting some price drops on the RTX 4080. But by how much and is it gonna be worth it? Well, let's go ahead and take a look. Now this information comes from a videocards.com article. It looks like here the PNY GeForce RTX 4080 16 gigabyte XLR8 Gaming Virto Epic X, what what an incredible name has dropped all the way from $1,220 to $1,139 and then with the $30 promo code it is now down to just $1,110 roughly. So yes, we're looking at over a $100 drop on the RTX 3080. And guys, this is definitely great news to see as the RTX 4080 is just way too overpriced. And I think this is just a sign of things to come. And you are going to see the RTX 4080 continue to drop in price across all retailers. And this will be kind of like that first snowball that starts the avalanche. But now let's go ahead and talk about our second story. And this is actually about some unreleased GPUs that I think a lot of people are going to be looking forward to. But maybe after this news, you might not be looking forward to these cards because well not only is nvidia going to be releasing an 8 gigabyte card but it looks like amd is going to be releasing an 8 gigabyte card as well so if you're in the market for a more budget oriented card and budget these days is starting to become quite the stretch well, yeah, you're probably going to have to put up with 8 gigabytes unless you're willing to look on the secondhand market, which at this point is starting to sound like a more and more reasonable option because according to another videocards.com article, they state, quote, gigabyte confirms Radeon RX 7600 8 gigabyte and GeForce RTX 4060 Ti 8 gigabyte GPUs and if we scroll down we can see here quote gigabyte next gen mid range GPUs have now been spotted over at the EEC or Eurasian Economic Commission regulatory office and they have all kinds of various different GPUs listed here and typically guys once these things show up on these listings that means that yes not only is it real but it is going to be coming pretty shortly. But now let's go ahead and talk about what you guys probably decided to come to this video for and that's talking about the RTX 50 series because we've got even more information now. We will talk about the potential specs of the RTX 50 series in just a second here but there's a new piece of information guys that was just posted online that absolutely blew my mind and it's something the RTX 50 series will likely be bringing with it and it will also likely be changing the way video game graphics are done for Forever. So yeah, guys, this is definitely a very big deal for the GPU space. What am I talking about? Well, let's go ahead and take a look at this information. Once again, this is coming from a videocards.com article. Here's what they had to say about this very exciting technology that could be coming with the RTX 50 series. Quote, NVIDIA neural texture compression offers four times higher resolution than standard compression with 30% less memory. And if we scroll down, you can see here in their first image that on the left, we have traditional memory compression technology. And as you can see, it does look a little bit blurry, but on the right, we have NVIDIA's solution, which not only looks crisper, but far, far more detailed when it comes to that texture resolution. And scrolling down 
taking a further look at some examples here, we can actually see a book where once again, traditional compression technology leaves much to be desired with a somewhat blurry looking image. However, when we use Nvidia's new technology here, we can see a much crisper image and not only that, but the image on the left, which is the stuff that we're doing currently is actually a four megabyte file. And the image on the right that's more detailed is actually only 3.8 megabytes. So not only does it look a lot better, but it's also coming in with a much smaller file size, which is gonna be absolutely huge for those well eight gigabyte cards out there or even 16 or 12 gigabyte cards as games continue to use more and more video memory so this is very very exciting stuff and i know what you guys are asking is this going to be something we're going to be seeing on the rtx 40 series is this why nvidia is bringing out 8 gigabytes still and while it definitely could come to the 40 series this is something that they're kind of demoing right now and while they are showing it on the 40 series i actually think they're going to lock this technology behind the rtx 50 series and use it as a feature to sell the 50 series gpus i mean just think about it they roll out a 5090 and they show it on stage and they say, wow, look, we can show 16 times the detail or something crazy like that. And we're doing it with the same amount of memory. So with 24 gigabytes of memory, we can realize an incredibly detailed world with like pop in that no longer occurs because we can push out texture detail far, far into the distance and give you guys a level of detail you have never seen before. So that's where I think this technology is going to end up landing. And if we take another look at an example here, you can see the neural textures on the left look far, far more detailed and coming in with only a slightly higher megabyte size this time versus the image on the right. And the reason why I want to show you guys this one is because, well, there is one downside to this technology and another reason as to why I believe this will be only in the 50 series. And as you can see, the image on the right took 0.49 milliseconds to render. And the image on the left with this new neural texture technology took a staggering 1.15 milliseconds to render. So significantly longer render time versus this older technology. So with that in mind, I do think they are gonna be leveraging a more advanced tensor technology in the RTX 50 series to not only improve their ray tracing performance, but also cut down on the render time for these technologies like this. I think they are going to specifically build in technology into those tensor cores in the RTX 50 series to tackle this problem, allowing for much higher detail at the same rough render time. So that's why I believe you're gonna be seeing it in the RTX 50 series. And that's why this is such an absolutely huge deal because again, this will allow you to bring a whole new level of detail to worlds that we never could do before as long as developers actually leverage this technology. And speaking of the RTX 50 series, just as a recap real quick here, guys, when we're talking about the RTX 5090, in terms of a release date, we are likely looking at close to the end of next year. And in terms of pricing, now I do believe they are probably gonna be 1600, maybe $1,800 max again, because it just seems like their GPUs aren't selling as well as they were hoping this time around. So thankfully, I don't think you will be seeing a price increase however do keep in mind it is technically possible and nothing set in stone until we actually get to the release date now in terms of the specs and performance of this card i'm expecting at least 50 percent higher performance out of these cards it could be even higher some people are spouting over 2x honestly i wouldn't be surprised if you see over 2x or close to 2x the amount of performance when it comes to ray tracing but in terms of specs we're talking at least for now the latest leaks are pointing towards 144 sms with over 18,000 shaders and 24 to 32 gigabytes of gddr7 and close to two terabytes a second of memory bandwidth. So as you can see, all the pieces are starting to come together. We're talking about a GPU that not only is gonna have a ton of memory and possibly even up to 32 gigabytes of the stuff, but it's also gonna have a crazy amount of memory bandwidth and new technology like we just talked about that are gonna allow these cards to show you 8K screens at a reasonable frame rate, a ton of visual information we've never seen before in texture detail, again, never seen before, and a ton of performance across the stack and especially 
and ray tracing that allow these cards to really distance themselves from the RTX 40 series. And if the 5090 sounds a little bit expensive to you, worry not. I do believe the RTX 50 series overall will probably have a much better price to performance versus the RTX 40 series, considering how poorly the RTX 40 series was selling. But hey, that's just what I think. Do you think the RTX 50 series will actually have this new technology and how much of an impact do you think it'll have on the PC gaming landscape? Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and NVIDIA release new GPUs. Also, if you want to see more, check out one of these related videos. You won't be disappointed.